actually all taped over and bagged over so it's covered and ready for paint. That includes the recess lights, which is why you'll notice the strange blue glow. It's because the recess lights are covered in blue masking tape. Let's see if we can appreciate that there. But yeah, everything has been taped up and is ready for paint. I'm going to set up my paint spray gun and take a stab at it. I've got a full painter sheet I'm going to throw on so that I don't get bathed in paint and hopefully this works out the way I think it will and I can knock this out quickly. I'm going to paint all the ceiling first, especially around the recess lights um, in particular so that as I spray a certain section over then I can peel the tape off the recess lights and get better lighting as I move on to other sections. And once all the walls are painted then I'm going to move on and do the floor. So my old Wagner uh, paint gun had gone bad. I last lent it to someone and they didn't really rinse it out very well after use so I've gone ahead and purchased a new machine. This had better reviews than the Wagner. It's a Graco. Magnum Project Painter Plus. Not sure that that means anything, but the advantage of this is I can actually place this over a paint bucket instead of pouring paint into it like the Wagner unit. And that's a massive plus in my opinion. Could fit more money than the Wagner stuff, but the advantage of being able to place it on top of a bucket of paint is massive. Less filth, less mess, less headache. Let's see if the uh, reviews line up to reality. We'll find out this afternoon once I'm off work and start cleaning. Right now I've got lunch breaks, so I'll take a sec to unpack this guy. Take a look at it. Simple. See a suction hose for the paint. With a return line on it. I'm not too keen on this design because this is a return line, as I'm assuming. It's going to be paint on here. But then again, I don't know if that matters. See some kind of rust around these lines on this filter. I don't know if that matters. But it bothers me to see rust on a brand new product. It's kind of annoying. Not sure if the camera's capable or not. Um, got some kind of liquid here. So storage priming tool. I guess this is uh, after I've used it and I go to store it. Maybe I fill it with this stuff to keep it from going bad on me. I'll have to read the instructions, make sure I'm familiar with everything before I uh, go risk ruining this $300 rubber machine.
right now there's still a bunch of touch-ups that I'm gonna have to do in order to really clean up the paint but I'm excited that the vast majority of the painting work is finally done um, I'm gonna do a bunch of touch-ups remove tape from the uh, recessed lights up front that are still taped over to a degree and then I will be putting back on all the electrical covers and also I'm gonna go ahead and uncover the floors and then begin the process for painting the floors. Beyond that, I've also got to reinstall my uh, attic frame or rather install my new attic frame. Alright, so I've put some wood clamps up into my attic. I'm going to lift the frame up and then I'm going to clamp them up there to hold them in place. This would be a lot easier if I had an assistant, but I don't. So, Alright, now I just have to make some adjustments to make sure that the frame is squared up where I want it. I can go ahead and put in some 3 inch screws in order to hold it in place. trial and error I was able to get the frame up there however the door's not perfectly square to it it's not a major deal just because the door is mounted using bolts so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen the door so that I can shift it around and then I'm gonna use some screws to hold it firm to its frame when it's perfectly square unfortunately at some point my camera developed the dreaded Nikon release shutter button error so I wasn't able to film some of the progress that I made in here. Um, but basically, I finished up my accent wall and I finished mounting and painting the frame around my attic door. I also had to modify the attic door by shaving the edge down a little bit so that it would close against the frame because I, bit, I built the frame a little bit too tight. But uh, other than that, I really haven't done too much extra. At some point, I did fill in the holes in the floor using a uh, like concrete and cement filler it's like a mastic i'm guessing it's got a plastic base and probably just like some crushed up sand or something in it it pretty much dries like cement um, i did that on the walls as well except here on the floor i think i'm going to sand it once it's dry I've done it all along the edges of the wall too if you look right there you see i've done it all along the edges i really should have done it in the cracks too you can see that I have a bunch of tape laid out right now. That's about the height that I want to build epoxy up to. Um, I haven't really started the epoxy yet because I'm waiting both for the uh, mastic on the floor to dry and for that corner of the floor there under the hoses for the water heater to dry. Unfortunately, I just managed to fully stop all the leaking from the stupid hoses. Um, kind of irritates me that they don't shut off the way I wish they would, but oh well. I had to get a bunch of fittings from Home Depot and tie them all together to make it stop. It's now time to paint my floors with an epoxy. There's two things I'm going to be using for that. It's just a regular roller and a uh, squeegee. Not sure if this epoxy is going to be good for squeegeeing, but I got one just in case. And uh, let me show you what epoxy I'm using. I found this stuff at Home Depot. It was 145 bucks for five gallons of it. Supposedly I can cover 2,000 square feet. So Hopefully uh, that'll give me a nice finish and it says it should resist, you know, hot tire pickup and all these other things. Every result I've seen on YouTube so far shows that that can vary. Uh, I use high performance tires on my cars that can get really hot and sticky. So I think maybe a rule for me will be to let my car cool off outside before I roll it in the garage. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to roll up to the tape edges on the walls. 
and then beyond that, I'm going to go and start doing the actual floor. spots that I need to touch up so I'm gonna come in with a brush and do all of that and then the rest of this will get all of its second coat. We should be some old tiles I had on. 